What's up, YouTube? Big J Basketball here with another box break, and I'm nervous. Immaculate Collection, 1819 Basketball, first off the line. 600 bucks uh, bought directly from Panini. Resale on these is anywhere between 750 to 850 right now. Uh, so I could probably flip it for a quick 200 profit, uh, but I'm not. I'm gonna open it here. The chase is just too tempting. Um, first off the line, uh, what you're guaranteed in here is a vet auto patch limited to 24 or a premium limited to three or less. Uh, so potential one of ones here for a patch auto with the vet. Also guaranteed RPA. Um, Again, worst case scenario, it's a rookie, no-name rookie, number to 24, uh, but there are so, also are RPAs um, limited to three. So that's what we're looking for here, is a uh, vet number to three patch auto and a RPA number to three. Uh, it's pretty hard to hit those. A lot of the box breaks I've been seeing so far are the ones number to 24, and a lot of them have not been great, uh, great hits, um, but I'm gonna take my chances here, and I'm gonna see, see what happens. Um, six cards per pack, one pack per box. There's gonna be a base, uh, two mem cards, uh, standard auto, and then the two patch autos. So, without further ado, here we go. There it was, 600 bucks down the drain. So. We left our two card holders here blank, hoping we get something to fill those up. This is a really nice packaged product. Um, comes in an awesome tin. Great colors, really pop. Okay, and there's our one pack. Go ahead and pull this out. Try and do this without peeking. So we don't have a super thick box here. So probably nothing like a shoe patch. They actually have soul of the game uh, patches with uh, pieces of a shoe in it. Don't know if we're gonna hit any of those the way it's looking right now. Okay, so open this slowly. I'm not looking. Don't wanna see the base card on top. Also, let's kind of do this off camera. I'm not looking at the bottom card. I'm gonna cover it up. Okay. There are redemptions in here as well. Uh, a lot of big names are redemptions. Luca is a redemption. Um, so, yeah. All right, here we go. First card is gonna be the base. So let's see what we got here. CP3. Number to 25, not bad. One of 25. So as far as base goes, this is probably, you know, not a bad hit for the base. One of 25. Uh, a lot of the other bases I've seen have been numbered to 80 uh, and have not been, you know, the greatest, greatest hits. So CP3, number to 80. Uh, sorry, number to 25 is, is not a bad hit at all uh, for the first card. So this will be our first mem card. So who do we got here? Nice slow roll. Jamal Crawford, 28 of 99. Yeah, Jamal Crawford on Phoenix. So pretty, <laughs> pretty standard lame uh, patch there. Just standard white, really nothing to it. Number 28 to 99. Okay, so first mem card down. Let's sleeve that up. Okay. Next mem card. And then we get to the big hits. Okay, let's see who we got here. 
Is that Ayton? DeAndre Ayton. 49 99 That is a big, colossal patch. Um, like no, you know, no, uh, just a standard relic, all purple. But man, that is a huge, huge patch. And honestly, for the regular relics, I'd much rather get a rookie uh, like this and some of the the vets that don't pull uh, pull much resale value. That's a really nice looking giant patch card there. So overall, definitely happy with the first three cards, uh, but those were kind of the uh, low risk ones. Now we're, okay, here we go. Now I'm getting nervous. This should be our standard auto. Let's see who we got here. I see some green on the side there. Is that Antoine Walker? Yes, and it's a not even on card. 34 of 99, uh, I thought all the autos were gonna be on card here. I'm not too happy about seeing a sticker auto. Um, I know some of the autos on the acetate um, haven't looked great, but I'd rather have an on card on the acetate than a sticker, especially of Antoine Walker, 34 of 99. Okay. We're down to our last two cards here now. And these, these are our big hits. Here we go. Now I'm extremely nervous. So I, they, they're both thick. I don't see a redemption in here. So that means no Luca. So <laughs> we're not hitting our, we're not hitting our Luca. This is probably gonna be our, our vet auto patch. Let's see, red. Who is this vet gonna be? Enos Cantor, number to 20. Let's see what the patch looks like. It's a nice looking patch. Um, yeah, Enos Cantor, eight of 20. Would have been nice to get something uh, number three or less, get a nice uh, laundry tag or something. So, at least the auto looks nice. Um, decent auto on the acetate. Uh, again, Enos Cantor, not, not the big hit we were hoping for. Um, so last chance here is to get a nice short print rookie. Let's go for a rookie number to three. Come on, number to three, number to three. And that's what we're looking for. Who is this gonna be? Is that Triple J? Is that Jaron Jackson Jr.? That is a nice on-card auto. Beautiful. Jaron Jackson Jr. Really nice looking patch there. It's only a two-color patch. Would have been nice to get a three-color patch. And again, not numbered to three. It's numbered uh, eight to 24. Eight of 24. Um, yeah, I'm not disappointed with this pull at all. A um, lot of rookies out there. Uh, this is probably a top four, top five rookie from the 1819 rookie class. So, yeah, really happy with this Triple J. Not too bad at all. Um, I'm not a personal collector of his, but this is something that would probably fetch a decent amount in a trade um, or a sale. Let's get him in there without damaging any of the corners. Okay, so let's do a quick, uh, quick recap here. So we got the Chris Paul CP3, number, two, number one of 25, so not bad on the base. Jamal Crawford, um, I think still looking for a team. I don't know if anyone's even picked him up for the 1920 season. Number 28 of 99, kind of weak looking patch there. Uh, Jamal Crawford, this was a nice one. The 49 of 99, Aiton. Really nice. Well, the patch doesn't look as good once it's in the sleeve. It looked a lot better when it was kind of out of the sleeve. Um, but really happy with that one. Not as happy with this one. Antoine Walker, sticker auto, 34 of 99. That's kind of weak to pull out of a $600 pack of cards. And Enos Cantor, again, premium edition, number to 20. Would have liked to see a little bit of a better vet here, but the patch is nice. It's a nice three color. Uh, with the premium edition stamp there. Nice looking auto as well. And then this was our big hit. Jaron Jackson Jr. Eight of 24. Really awesome looking patch there. 
perfect signature. No smudging, no smearing, uh, which is really cool to see on an acetate. And there you have it. All right. Did I get my money back? Did I make 600 bucks with the cards here? Meh, maybe not, um, but it was still fun to rip. Um, no regrets. So there you have it, 1819 Immaculate, first off the line. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back with another video real soon.